Michael, people in Ben Lomond, they've been dealing with repeated power outages and some are now wondering when it's going to stop. KION's Max Charlton has more in today's Message Max. Chuck Heron says his electricity has been on and off since January. With no power and no internet, we caught up over the phone and he says he can't wait until things get back to normal. And then the next morning it went out, and then the next morning it went out, and like four days in a row. Chuck Heron and other residents of Ben Loman have been experiencing power problems all year. But over the past couple of weeks, things have gotten worse with power being out for up to seven hours at a time. I think it started last Tuesday was the first, you know, recent outage within like the last month or something like that. PG&E says they are responsible for the outages and they're only temporary. To prevent places like this from burning down, PG&E is updating its system, hoping to protect communities from catastrophic wildfires. According to PG&E, nearly one-third of electrical lines are in high fire threat district areas. And to help further reduce the wildfire risk, they say they're implementing several key safety enhancements for the duration of wildfire season, including responding with PG&E personnel to all electric outages in high fire threat districts within 60 minutes, implementing a setting that will automatically turn off power faster if an object makes contact with an energized line or there's an issue with the equipment and addressing high priority vegetation issues that may pose a safety risk and doing an aerial safety patrol on these circuits. We do not want to start any kind of wildfire to put our customers and communities at risk. And so we are taking steps that are more extreme to go align with these very extreme conditions that we're experiencing in California right now. And again, PG&E saying they understand the frustrations of residents here, but they say these outages are only planned to be temporary. Reporting in Ben Lomond, Max Tarleton, KION News Channel 546.